Once upon a time in the project. <laughs> Many natural resources. Give it a try, Calvert. Bye. Whoa! In my day, we didn't have to go to so much trouble to risk our lives. We just stood on the corner and smiled at white women. Oh, relax. <laughs> Nice triple clutch, Juicy. Super, super, you've got to see this. Juicy, get up. It's Shrek. I can't move. She's running. Come on. Oh, what's up, Shrek? I wanted to show you my new invention. It's a combination cell phone compact. Talk on the phone, do your makeup at the same time. Mm-mm. I am too fine to be talking to this grub. I'm out. All I have to do is find a big company to market it, and Sharik's Gab and Dab, patent pending all rights reserved, will be blowing up all over. Mmm, that's sweet. You got dreams. <laughs> Time to wake up. Super, why would you possibly want to play a sister like that? When you're in the projects, getting involved with a big corporation only leads to disaster. Let me tell you a story about a local entrepreneur. Uh, for purposes of anonymity, we'll call him, uh, Burgood. Burgood Tubbs. Now, Burgood was a handsome man. So handsome, he could almost be called grotesque. It all started when he ran out of my granny's hot sauce. Dang it, out of hot sauce. Well, I told you not to put so much on your pancakes this morning. Muriel, if I need to get my hat on, then I need to get my hat on. Turn away. Two, two, seven. <laughs> Love that show. Jackie, what a hoot. <laughs> All right. No more Granny's hot sauce. Oh, wait. Here's Granny's secret recipe. Four oozy as vinegar, two tabists paprika, three tabists salt. Oh no! Granny wrote it down in code. But that was just the recipe. Ounces, tablespoons. Do you want to learn something or not? There was no possible way to translate the code. Uh, much like my illustrious forefather, George Washington Carver, who never told a lie, I set about on a voyage of scientific discovery. One red hot chili pepper, uh, salt and pepper, uh, Dr. Pepper, uh, jalapeno pepper, and an alley berry pepper, which is very hot, though the flavor does hit and run. So when you woke up, you were a monster? 
<laughs> no, I just threw that in to keep the story lively. Anyway, when I woke up, I realized that I had invented some really bad hot sauce. But an amazing miracle cleaner, Eureka Franklin! So I grabbed the nearest empty container and set out on a holy crusade of cleanliness. I dubbed the Formula 4009. Yeah. Okay, Dirt. There's a new sheriff in town. Damn gangsters. Good. Hasta la vista, baby. Is that you making the story lively again? Oh, 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 no, no. Smokey really is a robot assassin from the future. A remorseless killing machine. He came here to conquer the world, but then he smoked all that crack and we were saved. Mm, I guess maybe I won't be back. <laughs> anyway, I immediately began to recognize the potential of my invention. You ought to sell that stuff, sir, good. Don't be ridiculous. That cleaner of yours got the sweat stains right out of my velour cat suit. You can make a lot of ducats with that. That's crazy talk. Your cleaner is amazing. Have you thought of selling... Fine, fine. I'll sell the damn stuff if it'll get you people off my back. Hello. We are ex-gang members trying to stay off the street. Won't you buy our revolutionary new cleaner so that we may one day go to vacational school? I really don't need a cleaner. Yeah, you do. Oops! Hey! How many times has this happened to you? But don't worry, friend. Spilled Thunderbird is no match for Formula 4009. Usually very neat. Oh, come on. I bet you leave all kind of stains in here. Ay, Dios mío. My wife's asses. Formula 4009 gets out even your most stubborn stains. Uh, don't worry, Sanchez. She's gone to a cleaner place. <laughs> there you go. Yellow is the day they were made. Oh. Not bad. Now, how long is one of them bottles last? About six months. So I'll offer you a lifetime supply. Calvin, give the lady half a bottle. And before I knew it, Formula 4009 was the biggest sensation in the projects since the indoor-outdoor shower cap. I was sure everything was going to turn out great. But little did I know, the man was watching us. <gasps> you were being spied on? By who? Uh, I gotta take a quick bathroom break. You got two minutes? Of course. I'd have to be the biggest idiot in the world not to wait and see how this turns out. Uh, where was I before my bladder interrupted me? While you were cleaning the building, someone was spying on you. Yeah, and they were good. Undetectable to even the keenest eye. Um, super. It appears we're being spied on by some corporation eager to steal a formula for your cleaner. Well, what the hell makes you say that? Mm, well, there's an antenna and a 260 millimeter telephoto lens protruding from that fire hydrant. Mm, furthermore, there's a four gauge cable running from the hydrant to the surveillance van. Hey, look, I got no time to listen to a half wit spout gibberish. <laughs> Who left this microphone here on my clean sidewalk? 
So it turns out Smokey was right. I think he's a lot sharper than people. Smokey, Smokey, Smokey. If I could interrupt this meeting of the Smokey fan club, let me get back to the story. Mr. Stubbs, if you're done conducting your business, perhaps you'd like to conduct a little more in here? He said he worked for Litback Industries, and he had an offer I couldn't refuse. Sold! But, Mr. Stubbs, I haven't even made my offer yet. No, uh, sorry. I'm a little jumpy. Your goons are crowding me. That would be the purpose of goons. <laughs> Mr. Stubbs, our sources tell us your formula is the biggest cleaning sensation since that big bottle of pink stuff they use in all the public schools. I thought that pink stuff was a drink. We'll put your face and name on each bottle, making you a household name in every corner of the world. If you just put your John Hancock right here. Uh, I think I'll keep John Hancock in the barn. But I will sign that contract. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Bravo. And I very generously agreed to cut all the other tenants in on my deal. I'm a very giving man. I give! I give! So are we in your deal or not? You know, we all playing a part in getting this started. I say we drop him. I always wanted to see a super fly. Mm -hmm. Uh, they rightly pointed out that they were entitled to profit participation. So I got lit back to give every tenant one share of stock. Did they get common stock, preferred stock, an IPO? Cherie, I don't know jack about the stock market. I consulted an expert. I'm here tonight to talk to you about the highs and lows of investing in the rock market. Smokey, I asked you here to talk about the stock market. My apologies, but uh, in either market, uh, my advice is to buy and hold. I'm always holding. Mm. I want to sell my stock and invest in the candy market. Mm. The danger is that you could crash and then be left Dow Jonesing. I was heavily invested in pharmaceuticals, but uh, my entire portfolio went up in smoke. Mm. Well, thank you, Smokey, for that live presentation of This Is Your Brain on Drugs. We'll call you when we want to invest in junkie bonds. What about getting some back-end participation? We'll do that on your own time, Sanchez. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Thurgood's Original Formula 4009. <laughs> By this time tomorrow, people all over the world will be sticking my face in their toilets. Yeah! I had sold my cleaner, and for the first time, I was about to enter a tax bracket. Things were sweet, life was good, and those crackheads were licking my pole. Smokey, why are your friends licking my building? Mm, because it doesn't work if they just sniff it. What doesn't work? Mm, it goes by many names. Um, goody dust, uh, special teas, uh, stubs a lot. But uh, I usually just call it Third Goods Highly Addictive and Intoxicating Cleaning Solution. That, you mean you crackheads are getting high from my cleaner? Mm, not me, but uh, these two poor souls are sadly quite hooked. Deshaun. I got that thing we talked about. Smokey, you a dealer? Mm-hmm. Authorized distributor. It's a great gig because I can work out of my box. Mm. Now I'm confused. The cleaner you made in the basement didn't get you high, and no one else got high when they cleaned the building. Exactly. The company added something to it. Thurgood's original formula had become Thurgood's mess with formula. And that's when you called the FDA. Mm -mm. I wasn't ready to go to a TV network just yet. I decided to confront Litvak face to face. Hey, did your company change my original formula? We may have added a preservative, 
But this may have had the unintended side effect of making your cleaner somewhat habit-forming, and this may have boosted sales 758.5% in the last week alone. But, but this is mere speculation. Well, I'm a uh, little concerned that your preservative turned my cleaner into goofy juice. Mr. Stubbs, what we're concerned about is an employee with a big mouth. Huh? Oh, oh. You mean this fella here? <laughs> I think you fired much mouth. What I mean is, you have a very beautiful wife. It'd be a shame if anything happened to her. Why, yes, it would. Now, how very nice of you to say so. You know, I think what I'd miss the most would be her chicken and pork dumplings. I'm trying to tell you, accidents happen. Indeed, they do. That's why we must cherish each moment as if it... Stubbs! Keep your mouth shut or you're going to die. Goons, show Mr. Stubbs the way out. I realized I was between Chris Rock and a hard place. On the one hand, I felt the responsibility to do the right thing and blow the whistle. On the other hand, I didn't want the wind whistling through various holes in my body. They are just a bunch of crackheads. They're going to be hooked on something. And I am a minority stockholder in a Fortune 500 corporation. It's not worth sticking my neck out. I got Muriel to take care of. Muriel? Oh, no! Muriel! Ah, Gary! You startled me. I've just been cleaning the whole apartment. Do, 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 just track in dirt. I'd better go clean that too. Clean my butt! Okay. Muriel, you're addicted to the cleaner. I saw you lick that tub. We've been married 28 years, and that's the first time I've ever seen you lick a thing. Oh, goody, don't be ridiculous. I am not addicted. Oh! I just had the best idea. We should have a community car wash. We use the cleaner to clean the cars and use the money to buy a cleaner. Oh, I'll get right on it. No, no, no. Muriel, you have to make a choice. I'm not just going to stand by while you flush your life down that stunningly clean toilet. It's either me or the cleaner. My bottle. Give me my bottle. Give me my bottle. Well... I'm glad you chose me. You know, a lot of substance abusers are trying to mask some profound sense of disappointment in life. Well, a woman lives in the basement of the projects with me. What's she got to be disappointed about? People, we have a situation with Litback Industries. They messed with Thurgood's original formula, and now it's dangerously addictive. Yeah! People can't get enough. Sales are going up and so is our stock price. Litvac sure does take care of our community. What? They're taking advantage of our community. I meant the investment community. People, the problem has even come into my own home. <gasps> oh, oh, Muriel, you poor thing. I know where you can get some more. Don't you get it? I'm going public. I'm contacting the media to blow the whistle. No way! You do that, Super, and you'll be heavily invested in lead. You mess with this bull market and you'll get the horns. I can't believe it. My own friends and neighbors are threatening me? Yeah! yeah. You'd actually turn your back on your people and pursue the almighty dollar? Yeah. yeah! And if I go public, you'll try to stop me? Yeah! Hold on a minute. Litvac Industries up another three and a half. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Ooh, now I know why rich people are Republicans. Screw the children in the future. I won't mind. Look out, Muriel. I think they're turning into a Merrill Lynch mob. Good morning, princess. I was feeling down. So to forget my troubles, I decided to dive headfirst into my duty. Hmm? 
to the most respected, most honored individual on cable TV. Muriel, I'm going to be on Don King Live. Well, that's terrific, Thurgood. Or it would be if I gave a freaking flip. Now, Muriel, there's no need for fake dirty language. I know that's just the withdrawal talking. Come on, Goody. Just let me clean your kitchen. I'll do all the work. You just sit back and enjoy it. I'll even work under the sink this time. Come on. Keep it together. You can beat this addiction. Go back to building your model airplane. Here's another tube of glue. I gotta get ready to be on Don King Live. That's right. Tonight at 8 on BET, I go before a national audience of over 500 people. Welcome back to Don King Live. My guest tonight is a man who has created one of the great cleaners of post-Greco historionics, Thurgood Stubbs. Mr. Stubbs, tell us about your fantasticular Formula 4009. Uh, well, actually, uh, Don, I'm here to tell the world that my cleaner is dangerous. A danger to grit and grab and all forms of filthy transgressiveness. Uh, no, no, I I'm saying it's bad. Super bad. You, sir, are an enterprising impresario. You are royal T-stubs, the prince of tidy. I'm saying that Formula 4009 is addictive. It gets people high. That's because there's nothing like the rush of a clean American home. I love this disinfectant cleanup. And so will you, Thurgood Stubbs. You will be immortalized. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor, Litvak Industries. And one minute, people. Litvak Industries sponsors this show. <laughs> Welcome to the stupefying world of big business. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The fix was in. Was it possible that Don King, of all people, was behind it? That's when I remembered the humble origins of Thurgood's original Formula 4009. Before it was a miracle cleaner, it was a hot sauce. that Formula 4009 is a sham. Ah! Litvak Industries is marketing a dangerous and addictive narcotic. Mr. King, are you all right? I can understand every word you're saying. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it is not inducing a Caden to a healthified constitutionality. So, in delusion, these are the papers that came out the next day. I keep them to remind myself of my great triumph. Don King discredifies Formula 4009. A lit back industry is bankrupt. Uh, I don't know what this one means, but it's got my picture on it. Don King is for my super gahand in that bolt. It means you kick some Don King booty. Hmm, got that right. Yep, 
I took out Live Back Industries once and for all. The only thing I can't figure out is who cut the brake lines on your floor waxer? Hey, Sheree. Check us out. <laughs> that was great, boys. Anyway, Cherie, I guess we'll never know.